Hey. Hey guys. Afternoon, guys. Hi guys! So long. Hello everybody. Nice to see you guys today. Hello teacher. Hello. Hi guys. How are you guys today? I'm fine. How are you? Thank you. I'm fine. Thank you. Me too. How? What did you do lately? Recently, what have you guys done? You guys, you guys don't have to go to school anymore, right? Yes. It's summer. Yeah. Recently, there is a problem with the Zoom. So we couldn't study for the last two weeks, right? Something wrong with the Zoom. So that's why the ID changed. So remember the new ID, okay? I will send you guys the link maybe the next class. Hôm nay thì do là cô uh, không có kịp để mà gửi link vào Mới gửi đỡ cái mã ID thôi Ok, bữa sau thì cô sẽ gửi link Tụi con chỉ cần bấm link là được Ok guys Ok, a lot of friends here Nice to see everybody again So teacher It's been so long, huh? Like two weeks so, of course, we just gonna continue with no! our lesson today. Okay, you guys oh, remember, no. we were learning about health. Okay, yeah. a lot about health. Oh, no. Arm, oh, no. a broken arm and things like that. So, we gotta continue with the lesson today. And I promise today we're going to play Pluck It and Quizzes. Uh -huh. You guys are waiting for to play with your friend for so long, right? So, be... But before we play, maybe at about 8.30 or maybe 8.40, okay? But first, we're going to learn, and then I will let you guys play the bookets and quizzes together. Mm -hmm. So remember the new ID, okay? Uh, the next day, I will, just, I will send you guys the link. Bữa sau thì cô sẽ gửi cái link thì nó sẽ dễ vào hơn thay vì bóng mẻ, okay? So, we move to task five. Lần trước đáng lẽ là uh, the children, uh, International Children Day. I, I was supposed like to giving you guys like a presentation about Children's Day. Yeah, but that, that day there is something wrong. There was something wrong with the Zoom. So we couldn't join the class. 
But now, because the children, the International Children Day is over, so we go back to our lessons. Okay. Uh, now, task five. I think when you look at this one, you know what to do, right? First, you will listen, and then I will invite maybe two groups. Okay, two groups to uh, play roles. Okay, so you can see in the picture. There are two characters, one boy and one girl, right? And if you look here, you can see their names, Emma and Paul. So of course, one group will have two friends, but uh, three friends, I'm sorry. One will be Emma, one will be Paul, and the other will be the narrator. The narrator is the one who read this one. One, two, three, four, five, okay? The one who tell the stories, the one who tells the story, okay? Now, listen first. So listen and pay attention to the words if you don't understand the words. So pay attention to, okay? Now, listen one time. Listen and read. Story. You hurt yourself. One. Emma and Paul are eating lunch together at school. Emma has a problem. Oh, no. Two. Paul gets upset when he sees Emma's arm. Oh my gosh! You cut yourself! What? I... 3. Paul wants to help Emma. You should see the school nurse. You should put a bandage on that. But Paul... 4. Emma doesn't need to go to the nurse. She's all right. You shouldn't wait. Go right away. But I... 5. Emma cleans off her arm. Paul, it's only ketchup. I don't need a nurse. I just need a napkin. 6. Now Paul doesn't feel so well. I thought that was blood. Okay, so it's a very short story, so I think it's pretty easy. There are some new words for you. For example, uh, if you've got number one, Emma and Paul are eating lunch together, together, cùng với nhau at school. Emma has a problem. Cái vấn đề gì đó, Emma has a problem. And then she say, oh no. So remember the expression, okay? Don't say, oh no, uh, don't say that. You have to say, oh no, remember that, okay? Upset, upset, for example, you get angry. Uh, upset, it means something that makes you feel uncomfortable. Khi mà con nhìn thấy một cái gì đó, mà con thấy khó chịu hay là con thấy bực mình á, uh, you get upset, okay? Giận, mình thấy giận, mình thấy tức giận á, okay? Upset. So remember these phrases, oh no. Oh my gosh, so don't just say, oh my gosh, uh, oh no, uh, don't say that, okay? Remember the expression, uh-huh. And you can see, những cái câu mà con thấy á, nếu mà mình phải dùng với uh, dấu chấm than thì thường nó phải có một cái biểu cảm gì đó, okay? Nên là đa phần cái câu ở đây đều đang nói, có phải có biểu cảm một tí, nên là tụi con nhớ lưu ý cái này, tí nữa bạn nào phải đóng vai Paul, okay? And there are some more, ah, uh, this word, a bandage, do you remember a bandage? Uh, we learned about this one before, right? Like if you have something wrong, for example, you have a scratch on your knee when you fall or when you um, have a cut on your finger. So you need to have a bandage. You need to have a bandage. Okay? Cái, cái băng cá nhân á, tụi con phải dán lên đúng không? Thì cái đấy người ta gọi là bandage. Bandage. Remember? Let's see any other new words. Ketchup. Ch ketchup is like tomato sauce. Okay, ketchup, tương cà, ketchup. À, tương ớt thì mình sẽ hay gọi là chili sauce. Nhưng mà tomato sauce thì là một cái cụm từ khác. Nếu mà tụi con để ý, ketchup với tomato sauce khác ở chỗ là tomato sauce nó sẽ nói thiên về cái gọi là cái cà chua mà xay ra. Cà chua xay ra để mà, để mà con muốn làm spaghetti chẳng hạn. À, ví dụ con muốn làm spaghetti á, thì mình sẽ thường mua cái tomato sauce có nghĩa là cà chua mà xoay nhuyễn ra như là sốt vậy đó còn khi mà ketchup thì nó sẽ nói về tương cà nhiều hơn tương cà à ah, ok remember that ketchup napkin if you guys know tissue so this one is the napkin cái khăn à, cái khăn á cái khăn ăn á thì mình sẽ lau bằng cái khăn ăn thì mình gọi là napkin napkin ok and blood i think you guys know blood right blood máu ok now 
Uh, I want to invite a group of friends. Let's see. Mm, wait, let me think. Who should I invite? So first, uh, Vic Anh, you will be Paul. Uh, Vic Anh will be Paul. And let's see. Louise. Are you there, Louise? Okay. Yeah. So, Louise, you will be the narrator. Is it okay? You will be the narrator. Yes? Yeah. Okay. And one more friend. Uh, Han Mai, you will be Emma. Okay. So, again, Emma will be, Han, uh, Han Mai will be Emma. Louise will be the narrator. And Big M, you will be Paul. Okay. So, now, everybody, start. Emma and Paul are eating lunch together at school. Emma has a problem. Oh no. Paul gets so upset when he sees Emma's arms. Oh my gosh. You cut yourself. Again, the answer. Huh? Not ghost. Gosh. 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 Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's right. Again, oh my again. Gosh. Mm, yeah, that's right. Okay, Emma. What I Paul want to help Emma. Paul. Oh, I think you turn off your sounds. And don't turn off your sounds, okay? You shall see the school. Nurse, you shall put a bandage on that. Okay, again, shoot, shoot, shoot. That's right, shoot. Okay, Emma. Huh. Emma uh, does. Emma yeah. does need to go the nurse. She's all right. Okay, she's all right. All right. Uh huh. Now, Paul. You should then. wait. Again, shouldn't. Shouldn't. You shouldn't wait. Go right away. Good. Mm -hmm. Emma cleans up her arms. Paul, it's only ketchup. I don't need a nurse. I just need a napkin. Paul doesn't feel so well. I throw that was blood. Yeah, that was blood. Very good, all of you, three of you. Well done, everybody. Good job, pretty good. Mm -hmm. So remember, oh my gosh, okay? Remember the terms, oh my gosh. If you want to express yourself, you can use terms like that, huh? Now, one more group, one more group of friends. Uh, are you Tao? Is your name Tao? Yeah, no. Uh, so what's your name? My name is Bao Bao. Ah, your name is Bao. Okay, so Bao Bao, you will be the narrator. Okay. Yes, remember, you will be the narrator, the one who reads these lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So wait for me. I will invite two more friends. Uh, let's see, one girl. So, um, okay, Hoi An, you will be uh, Emma. And now the next friend. Wait. Wait for me. Let me invite one more friend. Uh, let me think. Okay, so Phu Quyên, right? when you will be Paul, okay? Okay. So, are you guys all ready? Are you guys all ready? Yes. Okay, very good. Now first, the narrator. Paul waits to help Emma. Okay, number one again, Emma and? Emma and Paul are getting lunch together at school. Emma Problem. Oh, no. Problem. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Paul gets up, wait. Again, upset, upset. Upset. 
when he sees Emma's arm. Uh huh. Emma's arm. Oh yeah. my gosh! You cut yourself. But I all want her to help Emma. Yeah. You should go to see the nurse. You put. You should put a bandage on that. But Paul. Uh, Emma don't need to Again, go to Emma the nurse. Emma doesn't doesn't need. Emma doesn't need to go to the nurse. She's out writing. Okay. Again, Emma doesn't need to go to the nurse. The nurse. She's all right. She's all right. Oh, Emma doesn't not go to the nurse. She all right. Yeah. And then oh. wait. Go right away. Mm -hmm. Emma. But I. Mm -hmm. Number five. Um, Emma clean off her arm. Mm -hmm. Paul is only ketchup. So I don't need a nurse. I just need a napkin. Now, Paul doesn't 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 he so well well that's right well oh, that was blood blood again blood I thought that was blood okay very good blood good job very good all of you good job you guys did a wonderful job. And I really like your pronunciation. Okay, that's really good. If you guys practice to read and to listen more, you can improve your pronunciation. Okay, very good. Good job, guys. This one, we don't have a lot of lines, huh? But it's a story about someone who hurt themselves. Okay, but not really, huh? Because that was Paul. Paul thought that, but it wasn't. Okay, it was just ketchup. So now, guys, we move to the next one. So you will look at number one to number six and then tell me who says the sentence. Who say the sentence, okay? So now look at number one. I will invite each friend, okay? Now, please tell me number one, who say it? Is it Paul or is it Emma? Then thank please, can you tell me? Okay, you. Where are you? So I will invite one more friend, Song Thuy, please. So number one, read number one first for your friends. Read the sentence and then tell me P or E. Number one says you should see the school nurse. Okay. I, Who say the sentence? I think it's Paul. Oh, okay, you think it's Paul, and that's correct. So tell me. Where is the sentence? In which picture? One, two, three, four, five, six. Which picture? Can you see the sentence? The picture is picture. Um, picture. I think it's picture. It's picture three. That's right. It's picture three. Good job, Toy. Well done. Now number two. Uh, let's see. Okay, Hoàng Zan, please read the sentence. Tell me P or E, and then where can you see the sentence? Yes. So number two, read number two. I just need a napkin. So who says the sentence? Is it um, Paul or Emma? Emma. Okay, where can you find the sentence? Um. Which Paul, picture? It's only ketchup. I don't need a nurse. I just need a napkin. Okay, that's right. So it's in picture five. That's right. Good job, Hanzang. Well done. Now the next one, Fungan, please. Number three. What about number three? Read the sentence first, okay? Number three. You cut yourself. Mm -hmm. So who says the sentence? Is it Paul it's or Paul. Emma? It's Paul. Okay, so where? Which picture? In picture two. 
picture too. Okay, so very good. Yeah, he says, oh my gosh, you cut yourself, right? Good job, Phương An. Well done for number four, uh, number three, I'm sorry. Now, next one, um, Alex, please read number four. Tell me who says the sentence. I don't need a nurse. Yeah, who say it? Who says the sentence? Is it Emma? Emma? Is it Paul? Ah, it's Emma. Okay, so where can you find the sentence? In which picture? I in picture five. Picture five. Very good. Good job. Well done. Now, the next one, number five, Hansong, please tell me. Number five, number five. Yes. Read the sentence first, it's... What? Emma. Read the sentence, please. Haunt is only cat... Ketchup. Ketchup. Okay, so who is it? Who says the sentence? Emma. Okay, you think it's Emma? Okay, very good. But in which picture, which picture can you find the sentence? Can you tell me? Picture five. Picture five. Okay, very good. Good job. Now the last one. Uh, let me invite. Okay, Ngang Bang, please. Can you read number six? Hello. Read number six for me. Read number six. Mm, you shouldn't wait. Yeah, so uh, who says the sentence? Is it Emma or Paul? Let me see. Who say the sentence? You shouldn't wait. Paul. Uh huh. Is Paul? So, in which picture can you see the sentence? In which picture? picture? That's shouldn't... right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good job. You shouldn't wait. Right. Very good. Good man. Good job. Well done. It's a very easy one. You just need to find. The sentence, uh huh. Find the sentence in the reading, and you will know who says it. Okay, good job. Very good. Now I have some other questions for you, so you understand upset, right? You guys understand the word upset. So when? Tell me about one time that you get upset. One time that you get upset. Okay, one time that you get upset. Now I will let you guys think for about two minutes. Okay. Think about a time that you guys get upset. Upset is a little bit like angry. You just feel angry. You feel like you're not comfortable with things. Kiểu như là tụi con thấy khó chịu á. À, một cái lần nào đấy mà mình thấy bực mình khó chịu. Okay, upset, unhappy, or angry. Okay, so let me tell about myself first. One time I get upset. Okay, let me think. Recently. Okay, let me think about one situation recently. I think I got upset, like, mm, ah, I think it was yesterday. Uh, you guys know that I really like to drink milk tea. You guys know milk tea? Well, I don't really drink the milk tea. I only drink the tea, but I need to drink it with boba. Boba, the little black pearls in uh, the milk tea. You guys know that? The little black one in the milk tea. Yes, so chân châu thì nó sẽ có pearl, or you say boba, okay? or pearls. So I remember uh, I really like to drink that. So when I can't, when I came there and I bought and I want to buy the milk tea, but then they sold out. They sold out the pearls very fast. I mean, it was like 6 p.m. So I got a little bit upset because I couldn't drink my favorite drink. I couldn't get my favorite drink. So I got a little bit upset yesterday. So what about you guys? When did you guys get upset? Uh, let me invite one friend. Okay, yes, you want to talk. So can you tell your friends? When did you get upset? Get angry? 
unhappy about something, tell your friends. Can you turn on your mic? Can you turn on your mic? Okay. I'm, I'm upset because as yesterday at school, I got bullied. Oh, you got bullied? Really? Yeah. Why? Why? What's wrong? Mm. Did they hit you or something? They just. Or they just yell at you? They just slap my. Your face? face? Yes. Oh, really? Wow. I don't like that at all. Why did they do that? Did you do anything? You didn't, right? I didn't do anything. Uh, I think it's a very, is an emergency. You should talk to your friends or talk to your teacher or your parents about this. It's not good. It's not good. I remember when I was in um, primary school. Yeah, they think it's funny, like friends, uh, boys, so they just fighting all the time, but it's not good. It's not good. So I think you should talk to the, uh, the grown-ups, okay? Talk to the adults, okay? Don't let that happen to you. It doesn't mean that you need to fight back, okay? It's not good if you fight back so you, to, you just become one person, just like them, okay? It's not good to fight back, but you should talk to them, okay? But and tell them. Get, but yeah. they get detected. Yes, yes, again. But they get detected. Uh-huh. But I think you should tell, should tell, okay? Tell the adults. Don't let that happen to you, okay? I don't like that at all. Please tell you the adults, okay? It's not good. It's not good to get bullied. And remember, you guys too, okay? It's not good to get bullied. Uh -huh. Don't get bullied. Don't bully your friends or anything. If you don't like, for example, if you don't like to play with your friends, just don't play with them, okay? If you don't want, if you like, you don't like them, you just don't like to play with them, don't like their personality or something, you just don't play with them. That's all, okay? You don't have to do things uh, physical, physical attack to your friends, okay? If you don't like your friends, just don't play with them. You just play with the one that you like to play with, okay? Don't bully your friends, okay? So if you guys are in the situation like this, I think you should talk to the adults, okay? Talk to your mom. If you are afraid, like if you talk to your um, teacher, ah, if you talk to your teacher, you're afraid your friends will hit you again, you can talk to your mom first or talk to a sister, a brother or something, okay? And then tell, try to tell your friends, don't do that again, okay? Thank you for sharing your story. Ah, if you if you are bull, if you are being bullied, it's not good. So I think, yeah, you will have to get upset all the time, right? So what about the others? You want to share another story about one time you get upset? Okay, yes, Linda, you raise your hand. I upset Lobby. Is because yesterday my sister used the crayons and draw on my pencil case, so I upset about that. Ah, so what did you do? Mm, I said her not to draw on my pencil case again. I guess she wouldn't listen. Yes, doesn't listen yeah. to me. Yeah, because she's still a kid. Yeah, that's right. It's, still, it's really hard to tell your sister to uh, listen to you because you're still a kid. Sometimes we are the sisters, the, the older sister, and then we have to, you know, we have to let her do that, okay? But yeah, it's not good. So try, just tell, try to talk to her, okay? If you should keep doing that, you can talk to your parents, uh huh. if you just keep doing that. Or you can teach your teachers not uh, teach your sister not to draw on the pencil case. You can say, ah, oh, I have a piece of paper here. I have the notebook here. Please draw on this one. Like show your sister not draw on the pencil case. Draw on the paper. Draw on the notebook. Okay, find the other place for your sister to draw on. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good job. That is a good example. Very good. If um. I'm honestly, I have to say, if someone draw on my uh, pencil case or on my books, I, I get pretty upset about that because I really like my books. I don't want it to be like old and things like that. So if someone, my sisters did that, yeah, I would get upset just like you. Who else who can share their stories about one time you get upset? Ah, okay, I can see Queen, raise your hand.
I I have been upset because my brother always younger younger brother. Yes. What What did he do? Um. He always um play some trick on me. Yeah, the kids. I understand that. Like the, the the younger brothers, they are pretty naughty, huh? So can you tell me about one time? What did he do to you? Um, this one morning, he he was his foot. Uh huh. Uh, and he take his foot on my face. Oh, he stepped on your face, right? He stepped on your face. Uh huh. Yeah, I got it. For who? Who? For whom? Who become? Uh, who is the older brother or older sister? Sometimes your younger brother and sister. Uh, they are pretty naughty, right? And we still have to suffer that. Uh mm huh. Cái đấy là cô thấy là ai cũng phải chịu hết đúng không? Ai mà làm anh chị lớn là lúc nào cũng sẽ thấy em mình rất là nghịch. À, lúc nào mình cũng sẽ hay cảm thấy bất công kiểu như vậy à, That happens with every family Gia đình nào cũng sẽ có hết nếu mà tụi con là anh chị lớn okay. So there are a lot of things that can get you guys upset right? For example me, just because I don't have I cannot drink my favorite drink so I get upset Or if you get hit by your friends, it's not good Remember that, so don't do that to your friends So you get upset of course Or maybe because your brother Your little sister did something to you. You can get upset. It's a, it's happened all the time. Okay, it's and it's not bad. Okay, if you get upset about those things, it's not bad. Sometimes just about the feelings. Okay. Ah, you guys already tell me about everything. Ah, uh, here, so I you don't have to answer these. So now we don't get we don't talk about how to, uh, we get upset anymore. I want to talk about one time that you get hurt. For example, have you guys ever had a broken arm? Or have you guys ever get a cut on your finger? Or have you ever like maybe have a scratch on your knee when you fall, when you run, you have a, a sprained ankle or something like that? For example, I, I, I sprained my ankle like three days ago. I when, I when I stood on the stairs, when I stood on the stairs and sprained my ankle, I think because you guys are young, you guys have to run a lot, right? You guys have to run and play with your friends a lot. So maybe you guys will have a lot of scratches on your knee. Do you guys ever have scratches on your knee? Các bạn nào thường xuyên bị uh, bị uh, bị bị té mà bị chày không? Chày trên đầu gối không? Ví dụ hồi nhỏ cô bị hoài luôn á. Ừ, hồi nhỏ là cô chạy nhiều nên là cô bị té hoài. Sau đấy thì cứ bị chày đầu gối rồi sau đấy thì cô lại cứ đợi rồi là đỡ nó ra rồi lại có thể như vậy đó. À, tuy là ba mẹ mình nói là không được đỡ ra nhưng mà cô vẫn đỡ nên là bây giờ cô đã có thể. So remember don't you don't do that okay. Nếu mà tụi con không muốn có thể thì tụi con nhớ đừng có gỡ mấy cái đấy ra okay. So who wanna share about one time you get hurt? If you guys wanna share just raise your hand. I mean real hand okay. Because I know some of you, you guys press the raise hand button, but you guys don't really want to share a story. So if you want to share, please raise your hand in front of the screen. Ah, okay, you want to share again? Yes. Um, yesterday, I done and I got scratched on my knee. Yeah, really? What now? What's happened now? Mm. Is this still my, painful? It's painful. Oh, it's painful now. So what did you do? Did you do the bandage? Did you use the bandage? I call parents. Ah, your parents? You call your parents and what did they do? They they bandage. Ah, they use the bandage on your knee, right? Yeah. Is it okay now? Is it okay? Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? When you run, if you're not careful, you can uh, fall, uh, fall on the ground, and you will have scratches on your knee. Is the scratch big or small? A little bit. Ah, just a little bit. A little bit big. Oh, so that's not uh, good. A little bit big. Okay, so that's not good. Ah. Uh, so please remember, you have to use the bandage. Okay, so don't take it out. 
Don't take the scratch out. Don't use your finger to take it out. Because I know when you got the scratches, you will feel itchy, right? Thường thì con mà có mấy cái đấy là nó ngứa đúng không? Nhưng mà nhớ là đừng có thao, con đừng có tháo ra. Ngồi là mấy mốt là sẽ có thẹo. À, có thẹo thì nhìn nó sẽ không đẹp. Okay, so remember that. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing me the story. Who wants to share? I can see Bảo Nam, right? Just raise your hand. Yes. So tell me about one time you get hurt. You got hurt. Mm, my, uh, one time, one time uh, I play with my brother. Mm -hmm. Younger yeah. or older? Younger, younger brother. Ah, your older, younger brother. Older, older, ah, older brother. brother. And what's my, wrong? My brother is hurt me. Oh, yeah. how? How how did he hurt you? By his leg. Ah, his, so he kicked you? No, he... Uh, he used he, his leg to do what? Yes, he kicked me. Ah, he oh, kicked you? He kicked uh, and I in the war. And you fall or something? And I kicked in the war. In the water? You fall in the water? No, I, I fall in the water. Ah, okay. And then what's wrong? You have scratches? And and I hurt my head. Ah, you hurt your head. Was there blood on your head? Can you see yeah. the blood? Oh, it's there was blood. Some, it has some blood. Ah, so then what's wrong? You, you, you cry? Did you cry? Yes. I yeah, guess. if you can see the blood, I think you can. You might have to cry. Then what's wrong? What's next? You tell your parents. And I yes, I tell a parent, and my parents go I in the hospital. Ah, they took you to the hospital because yeah, if there were blood, if there was blood on your head, of course you need to go to the hospital. But then what's wrong? Everything's fine. And my head is damaged. Mm -hmm. huh? You have a bum, right? Have a bum on your head? Yes. But then is it okay? Like, was it okay? The doctor yeah. say, fine. It's okay. Ah, so it's okay, right? I know. Accidents with your with your brother and sister all the time, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Nam, so much. A very cute story. I re uh, Actually, I'm a, I'm a younger sister, too. I have an older brother, and he always hurt me. Uh, I will tell you guys one story. My 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 brother when he was oh when he was younger he was very naughty. Okay, just like we we he he always played. Well, your brother, your little brother, played tricks on you. But now I'm the younger sister, and my older brother always played tricks on me. Like I remember one time, uh, he keeps. He keep chasing me, like run after me. I am running like this. And then he keep running after me. So I feel scared. So I th then I just keep running and I bump into a door. I bump into a door and then my head got bleeding, just like Nam too. My head got bleeding, but my parents wasn't at home. My parents, they weren't at home. And I have to wait with my bleeding head. I have to wait for my parents for about like an hour or something. Then they took me to the hospital. Then I got a bum too, but it was okay. Just like just some bleed. There was a scratch on my uh, on my head. My head's got a bum, and then it was bleeding, but it was okay. You know, like accident with your with your sister and your brother. They are all everywhere. Every family has that situation. Ah, uh, and uh, if you guys ask me what to do, I have no idea too, honestly. Because I get my, my my brothers always did that to me too, and I didn't know what to do. I just keep crying all the time. We were young, right? We couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for sharing you guys a story. Thank you for sharing the stories today. You guys have shared a lot of story for your friends. Thank you guys so much. And now we're gonna continue with the lesson. But let's see. Oh, it's 37, so I think we should play a quiz first. Have some other exercises, but maybe we're going to do them later. Let's play a quiz. It's just a, a very easy quiz. Talk about the health problems. Remember the health problems that we just learned? I think you guys are playing team. Team or, or individual is mean by yourself. Which one do you guys like? So please say in the chat box. 
team, team, team. Yeah, just need to say, wow, team. Okay, so yeah, team. There, guys. Okay, team. Um, okay, let me ask you guys one more. Team, how many teams do you guys want? So there are about 69 friends in our class. So how many teams would you want? Two, five, two. Oh, why you guys like two and five a lot? No one says three and no one says four. I mean, like a lot of two and five, but no three and four. That's pretty weird. Huh, why five, but not two? Oh, uh, why five, but not three or four? <laughs> you guys like two or five, huh? I think I see a lot of number five. Yeah, I think so. I think I see a lot of number five. So maybe there will be five teams today, okay? But it's really weird because I cannot see any three or four teams. Only two and five a lot. Only two and five. Now, very easy one. This one is very easy. So try your best, okay? It's a very easy one. If you guys remember the terms like broken arm, um, uh, fever, things like that. It's very easy for you. Now, let's try with team. Let me check again. Number of teams, five. You guys don't have to repeat the questions. Okay, so wait, I will, I, I will send you guys the link in the chat box, okay? Okay, I got the link now. So I'm writing, I'm typing in the chat box. Okay, can you guys see it? Can you guys see the link? Oh yes, very fast. So remember five teams. So you guys just keep uh, joining the link in the quizzes. I will find another game to play on the bucket. Okay, maybe the same. Yeah, maybe the same one. The same topic. Let me think. Is there anything cool to do with the quizzes? Ah, what about telling times? Cô định là lúc kiện thì mình sẽ chơi một cái chủ đề khác. We're not gonna play with the health anymore. Mình sẽ chơi một cái chủ đề như là một cái game thôi. Just a game for the look it. Uh, maybe. We're gonna play about time. You guys remember how to use the time? For example, like um, quarter two, quarter past. Ah, so it's practice. It helps you to use the phrases again. Oh, what? Are you excited? Ah, okay, this one is okay. Yeah, maybe gonna do this quiz. It looks interesting about the time. Okay, let's see. Ooh, 52 friends already. So after this one, we're gonna, I'm going to correct the questions and we're gonna play with a book it, but with a random topic. Okay, not about health anymore. I think we've done a lot of topic, I've uh, done a lot of pieces about health already. Okay, 55 friends already. Okay, one more minute. Only one more minute, okay? Remember, because this is team, so you cannot join later. You cannot join late. Okay, so join now, please join now. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's start, everybody.
yeah, I think the the rank they are changing. Okay, guys, they are changing between three teams, between the Jazz, the Tiny Wells, and the Bunnies. The rank they keep changing. So I let I keep I let you guys play for maybe two more minutes. Okay, so two more minutes. I will stop share so that you guys can know later who can be the winner. Okay, the last 20 seconds. 20, 19. Five, four, three, two and one. Let's see who is the winning, who is the winning team today. Okay, very good. You guys can be the top three, right? Congratulations. It's a pretty easy one, right? I think the quiz is pretty easy because you guys have known a lot about the names of the health problems. It's a little bit slow, I'm sorry, maybe with my website. Okay, here you go. So the toughest one was the question six. Okay, let me see what is there. Ah, Vin. Okay, good job, Vin. You are the winning today. You you got ninety percent correct, but maybe you are faster than Linda. So you got top one, and then right after it is Linda. Oh, one, two, three, four. You guys all in the same team. Which team is it? Not these three teams. Oh, that's so weird, huh? The top four. The top four with the highest score, they're not in the winning team or not even the top three. They're not even in the top three winning team today. I think they're in the Wales team. Uh -huh. Bốn bạn này là điểm cao nhất này, nhưng mà vẫn không có nằm trong đội. Uh, tuy là bốn bạn là điểm cao nhất, nhưng mà vẫn không có nằm trong ba đội thắng cuộc ngày hôm nay. À, có nghĩa là các bạn hạng à, tư thì phải. Okay, the tiny Wales, I think so. Uh -huh. So yeah, then the top one, we got Hang Zhang, you are the best one that your rank, your rank was five. Okay, so you got 95% to mean like one incorrect one, number seven. So number six was the toughest. Ah, here, number six was the toughest. So now let's go through the question again. Let's go through the question again. What's the matter? Okay, a broken leg, broken leg. Good, easy, huh? Cold, okay, a cold. You got a cold, okay, very good. A sore throat. Okay, if you have to choose between these four answers, so of course, a sore throat, is there something wrong with him? Like you can see that he needs to use a, a scarf, a scarf, a scarf, like around his neck, maybe something wrong with his, uh, his throat. And this one is coughing, okay? It's not sneezing. This one is coughing. Okay, you can see that he he's holding, he's holding his stomach. So yeah, he's got a stomach pain. And number six, the toughest. Ah, okay. Because of the, ah, because of the flu and the cold. Okay, let me explain about the, the flu, okay? A cold, Thực ra thì a cold chỉ đơn giản là mình bị uh, mình bị cảm lạnh thôi. 
mình bị cảm lạnh thôi và cái, cái trường hợp mà tụi con bị cảm lạnh thường thì nó sẽ để mấy cái hình giống như là kiểu như là mấy cái mà mình nhận cái tham, uh, cái cái thermometer á, cái nhiệt kế á, là thường một cái đấy một nó sẽ để là cold hai nó sẽ là fever còn khi mà nó bị flu á là giống như con bị con bị cả con bị cúm bị cúm thì thường mình sẽ có tất tần tật mấy cái như là runny nose nè sneezing coughing rồi cả fever cả cold kiểu như vậy cho nên là cái hình này con thấy nó có rất là nhiều cái ví dụ như là nếu mà thử cái hình này kỹ hơn á thì tụi con sẽ nhìn ra cái này là cái gì chai cough syrup cough syrup <cười> when you got cough when you get cough you, you need to check uh, you need to take the syrup okay một cái loại là siro ho á à hả rồi ở đây có khăn giấy để mà chỉ mũi để sneeze cũng có cho nên cái này thì cái hình này nó sẽ là flu nhưng mà con này thực ra mình chọn cold vẫn được ok it's ok chỉ là cái hình này đúng nhất thì vẫn là flu ok so number six and number à ah, ok If you look carefully, she's putting her tissue around her ear. Thực ra nếu mà là toothache thì con thấy là người ta thường sẽ đụng qua đâu đâu cái phần gần miệng hơn, cái phần này nó sẽ bị sưng ra. Nhưng mà ở đây là ở đây là cái hình này nó nên để giống như ở gần cái phía tai hơn. Cho nên ở đây nó sẽ là erect. À, nó sẽ giống như là erect hơn. Còn nếu là toothache á, người ta sẽ để cái hình nó sẽ kiểu như sẽ sưng lên một xíu. Nó sẽ để cái hình như kiểu là sưng cái phần miệng hơn một xíu, cái phần má hơn. Còn ở đây con thấy cái tay thì nó đang dễ gần tới cái tay hơn Cho nên cái này sẽ là erect, erect. Thì cô xem thử có cái hình đó Nó sẽ để những cái bộ phận như vậy để mình biết là mình đang bị cái gì Ở Cái này là Ok, headache, yeah, that's right Backache ah, His heart aches Aches cũng là một dạng hurt, đúng không? Bị đau, đau tim á à, Thường là đau tim mình hay bị nhói cái vùng tim lên Mình bị nhói cái vùng tim lên thì ở đây là phần heart cho nên mình phải chọn là his heart aches blood pressure ok cái này là đang bị uh, gọi là cao gọi là cao huyết áp á ok cao huyết áp blood pressure uh -huh. cô coi thử cái hình nào là trước tệ không ta fever ok fever là con sẽ ngậm ngậm cái thermometer thường nó sẽ là fever hoặc là cold ok yeah this one you need to choose the picture right Ah, here. That's right. Okay. So remember, tipping. Normally, you can see that the face will get swollen. Ah, the, the face will get swollen and it's around the, the area near the mouth. Okay, near the mouth. So normally, it will be here, not here. Thường thì bệnh bị đau răng á, nó sẽ dễ tả bằng một cái hình mà con thấy là phải có sưng lên đã. Thứ nhất là nó còn phải bị sưng lên đã. Chứ không phải là chỉ để cái tay lên chỗ đấy đâu. Nếu mà mình nhìn kỹ thì cái tay thực ra người ta để ở phần gần tay hơn là phần gần cái má. Mà nếu mà cái hình đấy nó muốn thể hiện bị đau răng nó thường nó sẽ phải kèm theo cái việc là bị swollen Your face gets swollen Cái mặt mình nó phải sưng lên nữa Nên là thường mấy cái hình đấy nó mới thể hiện đúng được là chút tệ Ok, nên tụi con để ý mấy cái đấy để phân biệt Để ý mấy cái đấy để phân biệt cho cô Ok Headache I think it's easy, right? Kiểu sờ chỗ nào bị đau chỗ đấy Chỉ cần tụi con nhớ là được Đây thì phải là how Đúng rồi Mình không thể nào feel được Feel là kiểu như con cảm thấy như thế nào Ví dụ I feel happy I feel sick, cảm thấy bị giống như là mình bị ốm, mình bị bệnh á. À, I feel sick, I feel ill, I feel happy, I feel sad. Okay, the body parts. Cô nghĩ mấy câu này. Oh wow, a lot of correct answers. Easy, right? Good job, everybody. Ah, very good. So now, the last quiz is about the time. Okay, it's gonna be a pocket. It's about the time. It's not about health. It's just like a game. Okay. At the end of the class, I host the game for everybody. Uh, oh, let's play this one. Uh, it's like a new game. So we already played this one before, but yeah, we should play again. Cái này thì nhiều khi mai mốt nó sẽ bỏ đi đúng không? Có nghĩa là nó không còn nữa, nó chỉ là một cái chế độ đặc biệt thôi. Cho nên là mình cứ chơi trước. Mai mốt thì cô sẽ cho tụi con chơi mấy cái khác sau. Five minutes, okay? Oh, sorry. Five minutes. It's about telling the time. Can you guys see it? In the is in the chat box the link for the toolkit. So remember again how to use the time. Uh -huh. There are many ways to talk about the times. Okay, you can say normally like for example. Uh, let me think. 
let me draw a, a clock on the screen. It's very easy. For example, this is the clock. And it, if, if it is about like here, so remember what you call this, or it is here. So what do you call this? What do you call this? And around here, thông thường cách mình sẽ có hai cách đọc. Thứ nhất là tụi con cứ đọc bình thường, có nghĩa là số gì thì mình đọc số đấy. Ví dụ 7 giờ 15, tụi con cứ nói đọc hai con số lên thôi, 7, 15. Nếu mà mình muốn nói 7 giờ 15 tối thì mình có thể nói là 7, 15 p.m. Hoặc là 7, 15 in the evening, ok? Hoặc là nếu tụi con không thích thì tụi con chỉ cần đổi 7 giờ thì giống như là một ngày có 24 tiếng. Thì 7 giờ sáng là 7 giờ thì tối mình sẽ không gọi 7 giờ, mình sẽ gọi 19 giờ. Đó thì tụi con hãy nói là 19, 15 là người ta sẽ tự biết à là 7 giờ tối bởi vì rõ ràng con đã dùng con số 19 rồi, ok? Hoặc là 7 giờ 15 còn có thể dùng là quarter past đó, mấy cái dụ quarter past, quarter to, half past đó, ok? Thì có nhiều cách để mình nói giờ lắm Cái nào mà con thích nói thì nói Không có nào đúng sai hết à, Đơn giản chỉ cần đọc giờ lên thôi là cũng dễ hiểu rồi Tùy vào cái cách nói của mình Có thể nói dùng cách nào cũng được Ok So remember that Remember that Nhưng mà nhớ là để ý cho cô Khi mà trong trong giao tiếp hàng ngày Tụi con muốn nói giờ Thì nhớ phải chú ý là Làm sao để phân biệt được Miễn là tụi con biết cách nói Làm sao để phân biệt được sáng với tối là được Ok ví dụ mình nói 7 giờ 15 thì mình nhớ phải phân biệt được à, làm sao để phân biệt 7 giờ 15 sáng, 7 giờ 15 tối. Ok, 45 friends already. One more. I mean one more minute. I'm sorry. One more minute. Okay, start. Okay, no one, no more. I will start again. Oh, I forgot to turn on the sound. Are you guys playing? Oh, yeah, here. Nó hơi bị lắc. Um, chắc là do website của bên cô nó đang hơi bị lắc một xíu.
Two minutes and 30 seconds, guys. Okay, the last minute. Time's up, guys. Mm, good job, Susan. You were top one today and top two. You are like double the score. Susan's double the score. Top two. Very good. Ooh, a lot of correct answers, about 81%. That's really good. That is a good result. Good job, guys. May. Let me see. Okay, very good. So, Vic and you're in top four. Linda, top five. Bao Khoi, top six. Strawberry, seven. Hello, eight. Bao Nam, top nine. Bao Bao, on top ten. Okay, good job, guys. Very good. All of you, very good job. Uh, this one is very good. Funny, right? Ah, so it's pretty easy, huh? Oh, I thought it was a little bit harder. Like, it, I have to ask you, like, is it half past or half two, thing like that? Quarter two. Do you eat dinner in the a.m. or p.m.? Of course, p.m., right? A.m. is for breakfast. You wake up. I wake up. A.m., okay? There are 15 minutes. Of course, false, okay? Because there are 16 minutes. Okay, so very good, guys. I think it's pretty easy. It's just a game for you guys to play. So well done for today's class. Uh, tomorrow, I will send you guys some homework to do, okay? Some homework to do uh, with the topic today. Like, uh, maybe it's about like how, what should you do? For example, if you have a broken arm, what should you do? If you got scratches on your knee, what should you do? Okay, I will send you guys the homework later. Now it's already late. Okay, it's night. It's night six. You can, you guys, can you watch the second match of the football match? We are winning, right? With two zero, we are winning Malaysia two zero. So you now you guys can go and watch another the second match. Okay. Very good, guys. Thank you for joining the class today. I will see you guys back on Friday, okay? Goodbye, everyone. Now, please say goodbye to your friend and see you guys the next day. Bye.
Goodbye.